Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Tuesday, June 4th, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. Thumbnail sketch on the Chicago Bears. But first, a quick note. Uh, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a try. You click on the link below the video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anyone else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video and get that free $60 account. Think you'll be glad that you did. All right, we uh, cashed last night, a nice 2-0 night. We had the free pick here on the Dodgers. We had one premium play last night. That was in the NHL. We cashed with those St. Louis Blues. As far as Tuesday's card, we've got an elite level play going on in baseball on Tuesday at the, at the site, uh, DocSports.com. I'm also finally involved in the WNBA. We've been waiting to get a few games under our belt from all the teams, and we're ready to go. Two games on Tuesday, we've got a WNBA play play uh, for Tuesday's card and it will be available 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday morning at DocSports.com. We are on a current winning ticket run in baseball of over 62% winners the last few weeks and I've got an elite level baseball play going on Tuesday. So we'll look to stay hot on Tuesday, both baseball and the WNBA. Of course, we'll return to action in the NHL in a couple of days uh, with the series heading back to Boston and the NBA uh, next contest will be on Thursday night up in the Bay area and we'll definitely be involved with the side there between the Raptors and the Warriors. All right, free pick in a minute. Let's get to our thumbnail sketch on the Bears for the 2019 season. Over under wins total nine and a half. I think the first thing we need to talk about is defense because Vic Fangio's gone. He left after three or four seasons as the DC with the Bears. He took the head coaching job in Denver. Chuck Pagano's going to step in as defensive coordinator. I like Chuck Pagano on defense. Got a good defensive mind. I don't think there's going to be a huge drop off off, but there will be some drop off. They lost a couple of players, key personnel members on the defensive side of the football. And listen, they have held the opposition to 55 touchdowns the last two years combined. 28 one year, 27 another. It's hard to imagine they're going to duplicate that kind of number again uh, this upcoming season. So again, they can be good, but I don't think they're going to be as good as they were last year on the defensive side of the football. But offense is the biggest concern because if you look at Mitch, Mitch Trubisky, you know, I don't know how far he's going to advance or come since last year. If you look at how he's done in the opening quarter of football games since he's been in the NFL, when the plays are kind of all you know schemed out before the game even starts, he's got really nice numbers, passing numbers, QBRs, all that kind of good stuff. But when teams begin to make adjustments over the course of the game, he starts to fade. His numbers drop down throughout the course of a football game. So we got to see if he's able to take his game to the next level because he's been okay for the most part, first couple of the seasons, but he's got to be better than okay for the Chicago Bears to continue to win 10, 11, 12 games a season and get to where they want to be, which is an NFC championship and a shot in the Super Bowl. And I'm not sure that Trubisky is quite there yet. So got to see it from him before we're able to call this team a legit NFC title contender. As far as that schedule also, oh, by the way about Trubisky, I almost forgot uh, to mention this. His off-target percentage is one of the top six or seven as far as, I shouldn't say top, one of the worst six or seven in the NFL last couple of years is off-target percentage. You can find that just about anywhere. And, uh, and I'm telling you what, right now, he's got to get better at that besides the fact that he can't have such a drop-off from the opening quarter to when teams uh, do make adjustments throughout the course of a football game. As far as the schedule is concerned, there's a couple of spots on this uh, schedule that are going to be very tough navigating if Trubisky hasn't taken that next step. I I'm going to tell you where these the schedule gets tough as I mentioned it's not easy out of the blocks for one thing but there's one stretch where they play New Orleans the Chargers at Philadelphia and then at the Rams after a homer against the Detroit Lions and they finish up the season with Dallas at Green Bay home Kansas City at Minnesota those are some tough games in two different stretches courses of the season so I think the defense is going to be good probably carry this team for the most part again the offense has got to be even better than it was a year ago. Trubisky's got to get it together and come around. Over under wins total for the Chicago Bears, nine and a half wins. They're not going to win 12, in my opinion. I think they're going to win 10, but that's too close to nine and a half to say we're going to jump on the over in this particular with this particular team. Again, I think uh, a low, nine wins, a high, 10 wins. It's that close for me with the Chicago Bears. So listen, if Trubisky does get better in the offseason and becomes a better quarterback, 
at being able to make his own adjustments throughout the course of the game. This team could win 11 games. You never know. But again, I think 10 games is probably the safe call for the Chicago Bears. And again, that over-under is 9.5 wins. That's your thoughts on the Chicago Bears. Uh, we will be talking about the Detroit Lions with our next thumbnail sketch, which will be on Thursday in that video. Uh, real quick again, before I get to the free pick that uh, our plays over at DocSports.com on Tuesday involve Major League Baseball with an elite play and again WNBA. Our first game of the season, the WNBA. Go grab both, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, DocSports.com. Let's go 2-0 on Tuesday. Let's get to our free pick for Tuesday's card. Minnesota take it on Cleveland. You've got Devin Smeltzer, the lefty for the Twinkies against Shane Bieber and the Tribe. Here's the thing about Devin Smeltzer. Meltzer. And as I mentioned, he is a southpaw, and we know that Cleveland does struggle against southpaws at home as far as trying to plate runs. Smeltzer got called up from minor league baseball where he uh, combined in triple A AA and double A for nine outings this year and a real nice ERA below a, a buck 20, about a buck 15 or so. And he pitched well last week against the Milwaukee Brewers in his first start of the season. As far as uh, his competition, Shane Bieber goes tonight. Shane Bieber got roughed up last time out against Boston. That's going to happen and against Boston that's nothing to be ashamed of he's pitching pretty well before that though and this team has played several unders with Bieber on the mound and also at home and when you look at the way this series has gone it's gone four one and one to the under the last six okay some of that really doesn't matter a lot to me but again I think these two pitchers the starting pitchers and the way these teams hit in this situation you're going to see a game that stays under the posted total I think Bieber will get right back on track and again Cleveland doesn't do a lot at the plate as far as run scoring when they're up against lefties, especially at home. So we're going to suggest and recommend the under between the Twins and the Indians, your total nine. Twins, Indians, under the total, your free pick for Tuesday. Hey, don't forget, uh, you can get that fit, uh, free $60 account. Take the trial run over at DocSports.com. Get started by clicking on the link below the video. If you like these videos, <clears throat> running out of a voice here folks if you like these videos be sure to click on that thumbs up button be sure uh, to subscribe we do appreciate those who have done so thus far i'm scott sprites for docsports.com let's put tuesday in the win column right back here wednesday 5 a.m eastern 2 a.m pacific